Good morning, everyone. Um, hope you guys are doing great. I really appreciate everyone for following my channel, and I hope you learned something from these uh, question answer sessions. I get um, just kind of coming in through social media and just random questions I like to talk about. Um, I get a lot of great comments and feedback on it. Um, I think patients who come and see me have always, a lot of them actually tell me that they watch all my videos, which is really nice. Um, but anyway, hope you get to, you know, kind of get a sense of how I'm going to typically talk to you whenever you come and meet me. And I, I feel like I'm very consistent when I tell patients. So uh, the question is today, is recovery longer for a uh, breast augmentation with the breast lift versus just resurrect breast augmentation? And the answer is, it's the same. It's the exact same. There's no difference um, in the recovery for me in my hands. So really the only big difference is that the breast lift procedure requires long incisions. Um, these incisions are treated a little bit different than a breast augmentation in my hands. Since the there's a longer amount of incision length, I do protect these incisions with a dermal matrix. It's called Prineo. And it's a uh, kind of a plastic mesh that's forced with medical grade glue. And it's placed on incisions, and I leave that on for three weeks for breast lifts. And that during that time, the tension at the surface of the skin is reduced because it's supported by this uh, dermal matrix. It makes the incision watertight, and it decreases risk of infection. So for me, in my hands, any breast lift, any kind of big incisions like a tummy tuck or arm lift or thigh lift, any of these long incisions, they need a little bit more support in my in my in my experience, and uh, need to be taken a little bit care of um, as far as reducing risk of complications associated to infection and having problems with your incisions. So there's no ointments to put on them. You just just leave it alone. It's gonna look kind of gross for the for, you know for three weeks because they kind of the glue mixes with a little bit of, of the with the uh, dried blood underneath and looks kind of disgusting. But once we take it off, the incisions really just you know really just skin edges and it looks really nice. And it really, really does improve scar outcomes in my in my experience. So, uh, recovery for this is uh, the same. I'll get you back into exercising, same time as breast augmentation. I'll get you back into, you know, normal resumption of life activity at the same time. Um, both breast augmentation and breast augmentation with the lift, the final result of the breast shape is at six months. Everyone, remember that six months it takes six months. Okay. Um, for a breast augmentation with the lift at two months, you're probably like maybe 60, 70% there, your final shape, as far as the muscle relaxation, as far as the swelling recovery, the skin and soft tissue relaxation. Um, at six months, everybody's there. That's and if you're just a normal person, that's also and if you're an athlete. Athletes tend to have a little bit longer delay just because they have a higher muscle, muscle tone. So anyway, great question. Hope you learned something and uh, keep sending them over. Appreciate your, appreciate your time and uh, you'll have a great day.